Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about moving out 2017, moving in 2018. Holy cow, 2017 blur. The older I get, the faster these years keep going by. It's just remarkable. Uh, I can't believe how fast things are going. It just the busier I get, the more, the quicker things keep going. Uh, it's just remarkable, but time flies when you're having fun, right? So. What are we to talk about? 2017, it's on its way out. What did we learn in 2017? And what could I discuss with you about 2017? Well, 2017 was one of my best years I've ever had here at the shop. Um, I guess I felt a little bit of a lull in 2016 like everybody else did uh, with the election going on here in the US and people were kind of on edge. The, the news was being popped on every second of the day, learning about what other well, scandal was happening. So everyone was kind of on edge and I think it kind of held people back a little bit when thinking about a Volkswagen. So uh, about 2017 uh, uh, moved in and uh, man, it came in like a lion. And um, yeah, I went to Barrett Jackson in April of 2017 with my fiance. And sure enough, we saw a bus go for 265,000 there. And the other Volkswagens did pretty damn well as, as well. Uh, so 2016, uh, 2017 was looking as a, as a good year. And for the most part, uh, from what I've seen across the year, the bug is still on the steady incline, uh, which is nice. Compared to a lot of cars that do roller coasters, the bug is still doing fairly well in the market and um, the prices keep uh, uh, increasing on a nice steady incline. I don't see huge dips, um, and like I said, huge roller coaster dips like we see on some cars. Um, the, er the earlier the Beetle, of course, the more they're going for. I mean, I, re I even think there was a bug earlier this year or in 2016, there was a 58 model Beetle. If you look it up on RM auctions, was in the seventy thousand dollar range, which is a little crazy for a '58 Beetle, but um, you know you start to see some stuff like that in, for the '50s cars. Uh, so don't be surprised when you start seeing more and more of that as the years go on. Um, but if you can't afford that and you get that, you want to get out of that range, you know it's good to go look into a '58, a '59, a '60, '61, mid '60s cars. There's still plenty of them out there. Parts are still readily available for those cars. Um, and uh, you can have a lot of fun putting those back together. So, uh, but 2017, I started off the year with a new redesign of my website, a revamp. I basically trimmed the fat away sort of thing and uh, streamlined it a little more, gave it a little more of a bolder look, and uh, it's turned out really good. I've gotten great compliments on it, and uh, if you guys have any feedback for me that you, you think I need to do on the site, let, please let me know. Uh, as far as our build a bug program, we're still busy with that, still over a two year wait, guys. I do apologize for that, but that seems to be the growing thing for most shops across the country, that they're about a two year wait. Um, you know, there's several cars ahead of you right now if you were to sign on today. And by the time uh, I would get to the car, it wouldn't be for about a year from now. Uh, so, and then from there, basically within a year's time, I would have the car uh, uh, finished for you, depending on the condition of the car, of course. So very busy with the build a bug still. People still signing on to that from all over the country. Uh, so that's, that's a beautiful thing right there. It's, it's job security, as I've always said. Uh, and it's really nice uh, to, see, to see that. Um, and the interest in the Volkswagen is there. And I had CBS here earlier uh, uh, this year to interview us, um, along with USA Today. And they, one of the questions they asked was, you know, what about the younger generation coming up you know, uh, that's maybe not so interested in Volkswagen. They're all tech kids. They're all into their phones and their tablets and things. You know, do you think younger, the younger generation will uh, want to work on these cars? And I got to say, out of the three to four hours of fan mail that I get pretty much on a daily basis, a follower mail on a global scale, um, I'm answering email all day, guys. Um, and a huge amount of emails are coming from fathers telling me that they are hooking up with their sons and their daughters to restore a vintage Volkswagen. And some of these kids are 8, 9, 10, 13 years old, 15 years old, restoring projects with their fathers to have the car done so when there comes time to drive and get their license, they have a bug. And I think that is just the coolest thing. Uh, that is just remarkable to see that the youth... Uh, it has an interest in the vintage Volkswagen. And the great thing about it today is that you, we have the, we, we live in the best time in the world. We have the resources at our fingertips, right? We have Google. Google is your friend, guys. I get emails constantly. People asking me questions, how to do this, how to do that. I either have all the videos on my website pertaining to that, or if you just do a Google search, there's so much information that can come up today. Google is your friend, and you just got to think 
Put some keywords together and boom, you can find the resources from the Samba, YouTube, Google, just those three sites alone, you can get a wealth of information. And uh, if you're really in a desperate situation, I mean, sure, you can place a phone call to some of the parts suppliers or you can call our shop and we could try to help you out. But this is the best time in the world today to restore a car because the resources are there, especially the Volkswagen. The parts are readily available. Um, even for the vintage cars, there's guys selling these old vintage parts. Check eBay as well. So uh, you are in good hands today to restore a bug. And um, that's why I think it's, uh, it's good for the youth to get their hands dirty because most kids today don't want to get their hands dirty. They just want to be on their tablet or their phone. And I think it's great. It brings out character. It brings out creativity. So uh, that is very good. So I've noticed that uh, tenfold this year. Really nice. And um, I got into Carmen Gears this year. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I, I dipped into two Carmen Gears and one of them I actually sold to France. So that was pretty cool. And then I got into a 73... Uh, Gia shortly afterwards that I saw on eBay, shipped it up here, did some fixings to it, and then uh, we sold that car. So there's a heavy interest in Gia's. People have been emailing me, hey, Chris, you got to get into Carmen Gia's. So uh, we did do that. Uh, so maybe it's in the future to uh, restore Carmen Gia for you guys. Um, and then we got into, uh, I, I finished my 54 oval window rag top, that project that I got in late 2016 out of Ohio uh, from a family. Um, and I, I got to say, you know, in the past years, you used to be able to find these cars, the threefold, um, 55 and earlier cars. You used to be able to find they would pop up every now and then, Pennsylvania, even Connecticut, New Jersey, around this tri-state area. And that's, it would seem pretty rare at the time. But uh, I think they're probably more rare now. They're very hard to find those. I think they're getting snatched up. Uh, so if you can get your hands on a 55 and earlier car, I would do so because uh, they're, they're getting harder and harder to find in a complete form, in a numbers matching form. So uh, just be on the lookout. Again, hook up for Google Alerts, uh, things like that. Look on the Samba every now and then, Craigslist, cross country, that sort of stuff. And uh, you might get lucky. Just beware, there's a lot of sellers out there selling projects for you know, a hefty price. So, but if you keep searching and do your due diligence, you'll, you'll come across a good project. Um, and a, a couple cars actually came back to me this year. You know, we've noticed we live in a society today where people get their fix after a short time, and I don't think they hold on to things as long as they used to. Uh, so people get their feet wet, and they want to get into a Volkswagen, and then they see the earlier cars, and then they want to dump into an earlier car. Uh, so a couple cars came back to me, which was awesome. A uh, 58 ragtop that we did. Uh, I found it on uh, eBay, and the, the girl who bought it for me eight years, eight, nine years ago, uh, she came into a medical condition, so she couldn't drive the car anymore. She put it into storage, and I had to rescue it back. And uh, we did that, fixed it up for a client, changed the interior, updated the motor to a 40-horse big bore, and out the door, and uh, happy camper there. And a 67 Savannah Beige uh, that I got uh, back, which I love. That car, I restored that a few years ago. And uh, that car came back, and sure enough, went back, went to a brand new family, and they loved the car. So that's always nice to see that to get some of my earlier projects back and living and learning what you do better now because that over time you, you get wiser, you get better in your craft and you look back at things and you say, oh, I should have did that better. Oh, I should have did that better. So uh, every year I, I try to be the best I can be. Every year I try to be better than what I was last year. Um, you know, there's, there's shops out there across the country. I'm not here to say I'm the best shop, you know, not at all. I'm here to be the best I can be and beat what I used to do last year. So that's my goal year after year, and it seems to be working. Um, and uh, yeah, and putting out helpful how-to videos. Uh, this year I put out some really good ones, guys. If you get a chance, look at my YouTube channel. Uh, we did a great seven-part series on the 36 horsepower motor rebuild. Uh, definitely check that out. That is a great series right there. And even if you don't have a 36 horsepower and you have a later motor, I have notes down in the description that you can download that will also work for 40 and uh, uh, 60 horsepower. So if you want to get into a motor rebuild, my video can, can help you even though it's 36 horse. So uh, that's a great video to see. And uh, I put on a couple shows this year, or actually one show, the, the New York Vintage Treffen. It was my first stab at a show. People have been telling me, hey, Chris, you got to get into a VW show. Uh, you know, a couple of the Connecticut shows are gone. You know, we'd love to have a New York show. And sure enough, I put on a vintage Treffen. We had a decent turnout. It wasn't the greatest. I thought I was going to get a little bit more cars. But uh, in the end, it was a great venue. People loved the trophies. Uh, the weather was absolutely perfect. It was in a September, uh, actually October 1st. And it was perfect time of the year. It was fall. And uh, I got a lot of great feedback, and I think the turnout for the next year will probably be even better. 
So uh, that's excellent. My fall foliage crews broke another record. 50 cars this year, guys. Probably had 85, 90 people. Food was gone in a flash. I mean, we do a whole food spread on our fall foliage crews. So that was remarkable too. Uh, just a fantastic year, busier than ever. Um, build a bug pricing structure will most likely change in 2018, guys. The parts prices are going up. Um, and what we've learned year after year, and I keep telling you guys, is the parts for these bugs, um, they keep going up, but the quality doesn't necessarily follow with that. The quality seems to be uh, uh, dipping a little bit year after year. Sometimes they go up, they get a little bit better, sometimes they go down. Uh, but thankfully the parts are there, and if you do hunt and search, Wolfsburg West still has, I think, some of the best parts. CIP1.com, they give you a whole array of parts, whether you want the cheap stuff or the really good stuff. Um, you got J-Bugs, you got SoCal Parts, you, know, you got so many shops out there. Just pick up a Hot VW's magazine and you'll see the ads in the back of the magazine. And, or throughout the whole magazine, you'll see ads for shops. And again, Google's your friend. Um, and yeah, and I did get an email that I want to discuss with you guys. Um, one of the many emails that I wanted to point out. But uh, this is from Jason and Nathan. Um, and basically they sent me an email saying that You've inspired my son and I to do a body off restoration of the 70 Beetle he bought as his first car. So these are a lot of the emails that I've been getting. Maybe you've already done so and I haven't seen it, but if you haven't yet, would you consider making a video sharing what you have learned about VWs, the restoration process, and yourself that would benefit those of us who are venturing into this project for the first time? I've learned a ton watching the videos you've made up to this point. Also, do you open up your shop to visitors? And of course we open up our shop to visitors. I actually had visitors from Germany this year, Montenegro, uh, Ecuador, and uh, people coming, flying in, some of these people on their own private planes to fly in and see our shop. I think that is just remarkable. I see that my videos get out there, I get in front of the camera and I present, and I think that touches people. And um, you see that, I, you know, the way I am on camera is basically when you come here and meet me, it's the way I am. Um, there's no act here. So, uh, but this was a great email. And basically, what we've learned about the restoration process. Well, I got to say, like I told you before, that we have the resources at our fingertips today. So it's a great time to do a restoration. But one of the best tips that I can give you is take your time, do your homework, do over homework, okay? Do, you know, overextend with your research, okay? If you have a particular year, a 70 Beetle, Google search is 70 Beetle. Google search the changes in 1970, what was different from the previous years. And, you know, you just want to get as much knowledge and background information on that particular car. And again, look on YouTube, the Samba, Google, do your research. Take photographs like crazy. If you're taking a car apart and you're taking apart the wiring harness or things and you're not going to remember how to put something back together, take a photograph. We have that luxury today in the digital world to take a photograph. And if there ever comes a time when you get frustrated and you can't fix something and you don't know how to do it, take a step back, go get a cappuccino, an espresso or something. That's what we do here. And uh, just take a deep breath and then dive back into it and just reassess the situation. If it's come to the point where you want to pull the hair out of your head, you want to start throwing wrenches or something, go home and go take a nap and come back the next day. Tomorrow's another day, all right? So do not race to try to get the car done for a certain time period. I, I know we all fall victim to that with the summer's coming around, spring's coming around, whatever, and you want to drive the car. But if you're really nowhere near the end, do not rush putting something together. Don't rush to put a cheap paint job on and get the car back in two weeks and put it back together and thinking everything's gonna be okay. These are old cars. You gotta understand we are running into, we are into uh, aftermarket parts. Not everything fits correctly. Things take time and there's gonna be a break-in period for that car to be driven. Uh, so once you finish the project, you know, you're gonna have to run it a few hundred miles and there's gonna be things that might happen. No matter how perfect the restoration can come out, there are situations that are going to come across that can actually uh, still happen to you. You know, this is an old car. You're talking 40, 50, 60 year old cars, over 60 year old cars now. So things can happen, okay? So be patient, do your due diligence, take a ton of photos, do your homework, ask questions. Communities are online. That's what's great about it. The Samba's got a, a tremendous forums there. You got Facebook now that has total VW groups out there that you can talk to. There's parts for sale everywhere, you know, so 
Um, that's the great thing. Thank God for the internet. 20 years ago, you'd be fishing through a catalog trying to find a part, and if you had an old split window or an oval window, it'd be very difficult to find some of those parts. Uh, but now with the internet, it's at your disposal. So, all right, guys, I've been rambling for a while now. 2017 is out the door, a great year, great projects that I came across, great build -a bug projects. You'll see some of those finishing off next year in 2018. And uh, that is it. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2018. Take care. Beep, beep.